hey 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 welcome back to my channel if you knew you welcome and i hope you stay today i'm going to be making one of my favorite childhood desserts and that is the cream caramel without wasting time let's just get started i'll be using these ceramic bowls for the cream caramel i'll get them ready next i need to prepare the caramel i'll put a pan on fire and come in with some sugar here i'm using about 150 grams of sugar I will squeeze in a little bit of fresh lemon. I will add about 3 tablespoonsful of water. Using my wooden ladle, I will mix it till it turns brown. Don't forget we are doing this on low fire. So as you can see, it's very brown now, it's ready, I will just put off the fire. Now I will pour the caramel into the base of my ceramic bowls. I'll go ahead and swirl the bowls a little bit to help spread it evenly at the base. You have to do this fast because it hardens very, very fast. Now I'll set the bowls aside for later. It's time to prepare the custard base. I'll get about 350 ml of fresh milk. Here I'm using full cream milk. I'll put this on low fire to warm it up. It doesn't have to boil, you just need it warm. So just before it boils, you will have to put it off. Now here I must say if you want it very sweet, you can go ahead and add 2 tablespoonsful of sugar to the milk. But I feel the caramel has enough sugar, so I don't do this with sugar. So whilst the milk is warming, I'll go ahead and get a bowl. I'll come in with two whole eggs, then one egg yolk. I'll add some vanilla essence. And with the help of my fork, I'll just whip it up. Now as you can see, my milk is warm enough, I'll just put off the fire. I'll pour the warm milk into the eggs and I'll give it a very good mix. Now I would like to strain it to give it that very silky finish. So as you can see, our custard base is ready. I'll go ahead and get my caramel based ceramic bowls. I'll pour the custard mixture into the bowls. Afterwards, I'll cover them up with an aluminium foil. So I'll put a big enough saucepan on fire. Then I'll put in the bowls. I'll come in with hot water. The hot water should be at the base. Afterwards, I'll cover this up and cook it on medium fire. We're going to do this on medium to low fire for about 40 minutes. Now you can decide to bake this in the oven. If you decide to bake this in the oven, you have to go through the same process, put it in lukewarm water or hot water and bake it in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes at a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. So it's been after about 40 minutes and our cream caramel is ready. I'll just put off the fire and let it cool down. So now it has cooled down. I'll get off the aluminum foil. I'll cover them up with a plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for about four hours. So it's been after about four hours and our cream caramel is ready to be served. I'll just get it out of the bowl. And ladies and gentlemen, you are invited. I must say this dessert brings back so much childhood memories. And I'm glad I've been able to do it again after so many years. I must confess, you can't stop at one. Once you get a bite, you keep going and going and going. So I hope I did help you and I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends. And don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye-bye.